welcome all of you to some brand new Train Sim World news that came out today regarding the area of mastery and its challenges. During the Dovetail Direct and the days following it, Matt and the team made us aware that for Train Sim World 5, we'd be getting some changes to the mastery and we finally gotten some more info on that. A quick rundown on what mastery actually is for those of you who don't know. In the world of TSW, they're basically a series of challenges that when completed give you a reward, usually in the form of a particular route event or a livery. In their forum post, Dovetail said, Starting in October 2024, we're renewing the structure for these challenges to be a monthly cycle, introducing a regular series of goals and missions that encourages you to explore new ways of playing and test your skills. They continued on to make the point that as players were still getting familiarised with the game, especially those trying out the franchise for the first time via the starter pack, the current set of tasks were quite basic, but we should expect a more complex series of tasks and challenges as the game matures. Right now for this month, we have a total of 5 challenges and they are 1. To complete 5 tutorials or timetables 2. Complete 2 tutorials on the training centre 3. To drive 10 miles or 16 kilometers with a class 66. Now, it doesn't specify which of the many variants of 66s we have, and therefore I assume any will do. The fourth task is to drive 120 miles or 193 kilometers, and the final one is to complete five scenarios. Whether five will be the regular number of tasks or not remains to be seen, and I wonder if the game will allow us to take off more than one at a time, as there is definitely a possibility with these current list of challenges of taking off at least two in one go. For the rewards, you will earn what Dovetail are calling a challenge badge. These will act as decals which can be applied to your own livery via the livery designer. Now, what do I think about this? The moment I read through the forum post announcing this, my mind instantly went straight to the Forza Horizon and the Crew series, where there was a weekly update of races, challenges, prizes and leaderboards. It worked and continues to work amazingly well for those games, keeping them alive and refreshed. And a big part of that was that the prizes were a lot more than what is practically just a sticker. For example, in The Crew 2, you could win vehicles that weren't attainable after that week of events ever again, and so it gave you a decent status among other players in the game. In Forza Horizon, cars won from the weekly competitions could be sold at the auction house for a much higher price than other regular cars. Honestly, other than taking off these challenges for the sake of self-satisfaction, I don't see how valuable to us these stickers will be. It seems that Dovetail possibly have this vision of everyone going crazy on the livery designer, showing off all our challenge badges, but I think that's a little far from reality. And although I understand Dovetail's excitement to show off a new feature, I do wonder how appropriate it was to release this article in the midst of bugs and issues continuing to plague TSW5 since its release. What do you think though? Is this news that has you excited the prospect of a challenge and getting rewarded? Or is this just another feature that makes Train Sim World less of a sim and more of a game? Let me know down below. And as always, have a lovely rest of your day, take care of each other, take care of yourselves, stay safe, health is wealth, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.